come to you guys right now uh, just to talk about some things that are just going on uh, in life. Um, uh, it's difficult just because um, you could say I'm depressed, but I'm not really depressed. I think for me, I'm just a little upset about the amount of time I've lost in my life. Like, I've lost so much time in my life. Um, where I can't develop, I can't grow, I can't nourish my mind. You know, worst of all, I think the most defeating thing is that I can't be the king. Like, all things aside, if I didn't give myself a set of responsibilities, I think the most disturbing thing is that I can't be king. And that's, that's the most upsetting thing, right? Like, it's... I think, okay, for one thing, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not going to have the benefit of privacy in my life anymore. I'm not going to have the benefit of just growing naturally. You know, I'm not going to have the benefit of, you know, securing the right things in history, you know. Um, like, I'm going to have to go through a very rugged and difficult life. it is what it is and it's like you can't go slower because you know education is going to get more difficult it's going to get more i guess yeah it's going to get a lot difficult it's going to get a lot more difficult and you, know, you don't have the time or reserves to say okay like this is what i want to do with my life right uh, but like as i was saying i think the most upsetting thing is that and no one's to blame. I think that's that's the most uh, important thing. No one's to blame per se, because yeah, I was kind of raised up in the GTA, and you know, yeah, my friends, my grandmother, who I stayed with, uh, lives in the same city as like uh, Drake or something like that. But like, even me being in the city, like Toronto is. It's a semi city. Like the GTA is a big area if you're just on your feet. You know what I mean. But if you're in a car, yeah, it's a, it's a very small area. But for me, I guess you could say it's a very large area because I'm very selective of my choices. But he's saying that, um, of course, I'm gonna have a lot of difficulty with, um, I guess, creative, creative things, um, resources. It is what it is, it is what it is. Um, but like I said, like I think if I weren't giving myself responsibilities and if I didn't know certain things at a certain age, or I'll give it one to So yeah, as I was saying, I think yeah, you know, like there's a lot of things I can get angry and regret, to be honest. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of things. But I don't know what to say at this point. a lot of things and you know it's sad because the way the world works out is that you know we're like the way I see is that we're going through I think a flush we're going through a flush like what I hate to say it but like okay I'll just put it on humonic because that, that's why I, I proposed earlier or my book but like in humonics it's like um what is it? It's like the mind. There's there's a native. I, I don't want to say native, but there is a there's different minds. There's the dominant mind in society. Uh, then there is the submissive mind in society. Like all our minds have different functions, right? You know, and it's it's we live in a very diverse world where. You might have, you know, a very submissive mind, but you might be able to navigate within the culture to have certain privileges that could, you know, I guess, um, what can you say, um, you know, uh, propel your, your status in society. Like, the thing with society is that, you know, like, I'm, I like to think of myself as just a very 
broke, broke individual, like, financially, like, a lot of people know who I am, but, like, I'm just, I don't have, I don't have the finances to say, okay, like, yeah, you know, yeah, um, you know, I could back up my stuff, but it is what it is, you know what I mean, it is what it is, and it's difficult, because, right, you want to earn things yourself, you want to have some stability, but, like, I feel like workplaces, like, they're calculated, like, workplaces have gotten very diverse, you know, previous workplaces that I've had, they've, they've learned how to understand your psychology, understand, like, some workplaces know how to treat you as an animal, in plain sight, they know how to put you as an animal, they know how to make you as an animal, and they know how, they know what, they know how, to, they, they know how to, like, it's weird, like, there's no shield, there's no shield in terms of workplace rights, like, Canada is a very diverse lot, it's like, they have AOTA, we have Mental Health Act, you know, but we don't have anything to protect our mind, like, right now, I hate to put it out there, but it's like, so many places know how to understand your psychology, you know, understand your psychology. So many places know how to uh, view your your habits. Like you know, like we've become animalistic. You know, and I think what what the world some some people some views may be pushing for. They want that walking dead world. They want to say that okay, um, in the precedence of that waking world made people intellectually stall that's what it is like they've made people intellectually stall like you know I don't know how, how to better describe it you know like there's a different form of like zombies it's not okay cannibals because yeah you know there's there's trees outside you can make a salad you know um, there's water in ponds you know you can boil it uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things there's a lot of things you could do that aren't cannibalistic but I think what and maybe this should be a review on the walking dead like what it could really mean but I think what it is is just making people intellectually stupid that's what the world's doing Make, like there's a different form of cannibalism it's 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 basically making someone a pet like treating someone as a dog you know and it's like as as an individual, it's like, okay, you know what, um, if I have the power, I can make this person hungry, I know how to understand their psychology, like, for instance, if I'm a hiring manager, I can say, okay, I see this person, you know, they're an entrepreneur, but they're not doing anything with their time, you know, I'm going to give them an opportunity, lead them astray, you know, have them make certain choices within these parameters, and, you know, have them make choices within these parameters and you know um, yeah and make them act a certain way and the thing is because I understand the concepts of time um, I, I could basically filter their development so that's what society has become and it's a little dangerous right like if it's it's interesting it's interesting and it's dangerous just because now we have a society where elites could use methods of psychology and cognition to uh, force a certain society to operate a certain way. You know what I mean? And that's that's very dangerous because you know um, life, like life, has a natural a natural trend. It, it always comes full circle. If you look at the universe, everything always comes full circle. You know, regardless, things always come full circle, but what's happening now is that there's individuals that are running a race, but they're damaging the same things that they're going to need to repair them. But the thing is, because some people may not understand these things, they may not have the tools equipped, right? Like, there's one thing with a fight. Like, you know, when you look at nature, nature has granted animals nature has granted animals um, 
a lot of things. Like even though the cheetah is able to kill the gazelle, the gazelle still has equipment and methods of protecting itself. Now I may not be the brightest individual, but like I still understand I still understand the laws of nature. You know, per se. But as I was saying before, it's like you know, people are able to use psychology to really damage an individual's cognition, right? And in a world where, like, I guess you don't have, where I don't have at least cognitive privacy, I don't have that CP. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's provoking. And the worst thing is that I'm forced to live in a condition where it, it kind of it kind of makes people it makes individuals look bad you know it makes individuals look bad and it's not necessarily a bad thing you know it's not necessarily a bad thing but like for you, for, you, for my own self work my own self work it's like what do I do with that you know what I mean like what do I do with that so many people can live off that privilege or not live off that privilege you know it's, it's like what choice do I make and the thing is you can't live in between want to live in between you can and it is it is, a, it is a competition of and like I guess yeah it is it is something with black and white but like it's not my business you know what I mean like it's, it's not really my business like understanding what things are in the world so there's a lot of things that aren't my business and that I can't really understand what that it is I guess that's just something I'm gonna have to live with. It's a bit sad because I feel like these are things that I should have outgrown, you know, things I should have outgrown, but like now I have to start from scratch. You know, like my mental health is extremely damaged just because of like things and choices that have gone on in my life. Like I don't know how to better say it. businesses 